Welcome back to Full Circle. I really do hope that you have enjoyed the show this morning. Joining me right now, I have some young students from the University of Nairobi, and they're going to be telling us about an amazing project, which is called the Health Prize Challenge. Welcome to Full Circle. Thank, Thank you. you. So, obviously, looking at you guys, you're still in campus? Yeah. Yes. At University of Nairobi? Yeah. Yes. So we have with me Vincent Nyakwach. I understand you are the judge coordinator of the Halt Prize. Yes. And uh, we have Victoria Munuve, who is the team's coordinator yes. of the Halt Prize. Yes. So tell me, what is the Halt Prize, Victoria? Halt Prize, it is a global competition and a global foundation that aims at crowdsourcing ideas from young people that are enrolled at the university level that they get to come and present their ideas and at the end of it all they get to be awarded seed and what capital sort of ideas innovations or creative ideas what are we talking about when we say ideas both innovative ideas ideas that can impact the society ideas that are business oriented and yes so i understand the challenge is ongoing at the moment yes so tell me about that so Heart Prize, we launched the challenge. It was launched on September. We've been receiving applications ever since. And we are currently preparing for the quarterfinals on the on-campus program at the University of Nairobi. So as a judge, uh, what sort of uh, entries do you have in this year's competition? Now, so far, we have managed to reach out to several, several uh, personalities from the field of business, academia, and uh, several fields. So, so far, I'm glad to report that uh, the university has been very supportive. Most of the judges actually are from within the university, from the academia field. So far, the, the, the guest who just left, Boni Mwangi, will be one of them actually, and we really appreciate. And uh, still we are working on the list, because we have uh, several positions to fill yet to run up to the finals. Okay, and uh, a key theme of the Hull Prize is innovative entrepreneurship. So how is this different from normal entrepreneurship? Okay, when we look at uh, innovative entrepreneurship, innovative, innovative ent entrepreneurship mainly focuses on improvement, improving a process. Improving a process in that you create a system which is efficient to help solve an issue within a very short time. Compared to entrepreneurship, which is basically identifying a gap to create a business. For example, uh, you can attest that in the, in the past we, we only had taxis, unaenda uko zimepakiwa, then the ferry you. But someone somewhere came up with an idea of Uber. You can actually call a cab from wherever you are and you can get to your destination within a very short time efficiently. So I know that the University of Nairobi is an SDGs partner. So how would you say that the Hull Prize especially is key in just basically supporting the SDGs? Okay, now Hulse Prize has, has played a key role in uh, supporting youth innovations and ideas. Now that we are cloud sourcing ideas from young entrepreneurs, young students at the university level, most of these ideas, we are actually focusing on ideas that are convincing, ideas are pro uh, that are promising to be sustainable. We need ideas that as a nation or as a continent, we can depend on up to 30 years running as long as we are alive. So, Victoria, if you look at this year's competition, what are some of those ideas that stood out and which areas of sustainability are they promoting? Okay, so we've not, we've not had the opportunity of the students coming and pitch the ideas. It is going to take place on Friday. But majorly, the theme for the Heart Prize competition 2020-2021 is food for good. Mm -hmm. Transforming food into a vehicle of change. Because we know that food is a necessity. It is the language that we speak from the homestead all the way to the social gathering. It is what brings 
all of us together. So we want to transform this food. We want to make food a new experience, not the normal culture of it is lunchtime, let us go and eat. We actually want to change this food into a new experience, into a new vehicle that can bring about change in the society, starting from the family level all the way to the social and hotels and the dinners. So all the ideas that you're sourcing for this year ideally should promote the whole idea uh, for food into a vehicle of change. Yes. So tell me, in the context of uh, now that particular goal, how does it support the SDGs? Now we've seen that with the UN, they rolled out the 17 SDGs and the SDG number two is actually zero hunger. Then the SDG number 12 is responsible production and consumption. So we want to avoid situations whereby we find that some areas of the country have adequate, they actually have extra food. And most of the time we find that this food goes into waste. While some parts also, there are people, there are cases being reported of people dying of hunger. So what we basically want to promote, especially from the on-campus theme, we want to make sure that there's zero hunger. The projects that are going to be considered as the best projects should show the capability of reducing the food crisis in the country and if possible, globally. Okay. Y yes. So this year's competition, uh, you're saying the entries are closed? The entries are closed. Yes. And so now you're going into round one, which is now the short listing. Yes, the quarterfinals. Then after the quarterfinals, it is basically the elimination stage. There is actually much, not much about it. Then after that, you'll go to the semis. Then from the semis, you'll have the finals. And from the finals, from the University of Nairobi, we'll have three teams proceeding to the regionals, which are held across the continent, across Africa, or across the world. And yes, so you'll get to choose the best three teams that will have shown sustainability in their idea or in their project. And how does the competition uh, perhaps support the participants? Mm -hmm. So Halt Prize on the it is Halt Prize has some suits of programs. So we start with the on campus level and it is basically a student for student program. So the students get to sit in the committee, they get to source for funds, they get to do all that that pertains to the committee. And so from the on campus level we've we've realized that most young people what they actually need for them to start their ideas or to come up with a startup project is mentorship. And that is what is missing in most young people projects. So we've gone out of our own way to reach out to people, prominent people, I can say, in this country, to provide the right mentorship from how to get the right idea for the food, how to get to pitch it, how the business model should look like. And I can say, I can attest that the teams themselves can say that they have gotten the right mentorship that will help them compete because we are not competing amongst ourselves. We are all looking at the Global Award that is the one MUSD. So now that you've mentioned the Global Award, obviously the spirit of the competition is promote innovation and of course social entrepreneurship amongst the youth specifically. Mm -hmm. So uh, the th out of the three teams that you'll be selecting who now will be going into the African level of the competition, mm -hmm. if they are you know, lucky enough or should I say, if their innovation is selected mm -hmm. to win the competition, what do they stand to win? What is the prize? Because it's called HALT prize. So what is that prize that <laughs> HALT is giving? <laughs> now at the finals, uh -huh. we'll have uh, several teams competing globally. At the finals, the, the, the idea that wins will be awarded one million US dollars to start to, as a start capital <laughs> to implement their idea. So in Kenya shillings, how many Kenya shillings is that? More uh, than 100 million. million. So out of these young innovators who are part of the Kenyan stage, if any of them perhaps has an innovation that now at that glo global stage is considered now it, they get to walk away with 100 million Kenya shillings. Yes, Definitely. after having their startup incorporated. So though at the regionals, so with every stage, there are different type of mentorships and you get to come together and 
there are people from the global team because actually Halt Prize it is organized by the former president Bill Clinton. So he's the one who gives the topic, gives the challenge, and he's the one who officiates the global awarding ceremony. So you get mentored on how to run a startup, on how an enterprise should impact the society. Yes. Okay. And uh, so you mentioned this year's competition, the entries are closed. So when is the next one coming around? In case there's anybody who had not known about this and they're like, I wish I knew. Yeah. So when can they now get another chance to perhaps participate? Okay, due to the irregular schedule because of COVID, next year, a time like this, uh, towards September, October, we'll again announce when the opening of uh, admission of new members will be announced. They will, they'll get to know. So one does not have to be a student at the University of Nairobi? Okay, this, this only focuses on students. At the University of Nairobi? No, universities globally. Any university. Any every, every university. If your university has partnered with Heart Prize, the Heart Prize brings the challenge to your university. So in, in Kenya, we have like 62 institutions, both from Tibet and tertiary institutions that participate in the Heart Prize. So if your university has partnered with Heart Prize, then you get to have the on-campus level, on-campus program. But if you're not yet registered and you like to register, the Heart Prize website is open for the regional applications. So you don't start with the on-campus program. So after on-campus, you proceed to the regionals. From the regionals, you proceed to the accelerator. From the accelerator, you now go to the global awarding ceremony. So if you've not applied for the on-campus, the Heart Prize website is actually open for the regionals. So you can apply for the regionals, which are going to run next month. Have we had a Kenyan team bringing the prize home so far in the history of the Hull Prize? Have we? So far we have <laughs> none. But this might just but, be the but year. But we are <laughs> promising <laughs> to get history. Actually we are promising to get it from your end. Uh, the yes. way we've worked this time, uh, by the way, you just wait for us. Right. We promise to bring it to okay, Kenya. And for sure, we definitely wish you guys the best in that. Thank so you obviously, so there are the Hull Prize, which is promoting innovation and social entrepreneurship amongst the youth. Well, thank you so much for staying with us. It's been a great show. I hope that you've enjoyed yourself and, of course, learned from the wonderful interviews and topics that we've discussed this morning. Well, that's it from me to Mima. And tomorrow, I'll be here, same place, same time, still filling in for Joyce, who should be in at the latter end of the week. But for now, thank you so much for giving me the privilege of your time. Do enjoy the rest of your viewing.